And the purpose of the goods market model, also known as the simple Keynesian model, is to provide us with a theory of how the level of output and income is determined in an economy. We use the symbol Y for to indicate the level of output and income. This is also the variable that is measured on our horizontal axis. It is our endogenous variable. This is the thing that we want to explain. And what we try to do with the goods market model is to explain what determines the level of output and income in the economy, as well as what determines changes in the level of output and income in the economy. Now, one way to measure this level of output is to make use of the concept gross domestic product, which measures the value of all final goods and services produced in the borders of a country in a certain time period, usually one year. If one looks at the GDP for South Africa, we will see that in 2007, we produced something like 1751499 million rands worth of goods and services. In 2008, we produced more goods and services to the value of 1814134 million. In 2009, however, there was a decrease in the level of output and income. In other words, we produced less goods and services compared to 2008, and that would, the value was something like 1783617 million rands worth of goods and services. Another way to look at this is to look in terms of economic growth figures. In 2007, our economic growth rate was 5.6%, so we produced 5.6% more goods and services compared to 2006. 2008, the economic growth rate was 3.6%. We are still producing more goods and services, but compared to 2007, it was at a lower rate. And then we get 2009, there was actually a decline, so it's my, well, of minus one7 Seven percent. So what we want to do of the goods market is to explain these changes in the level of output. And the way we're going to do this is to use the ideas of John Maynard Keynes and his book, The General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money, where he argues that it is the aggregate demand or total demand for goods that determines the level of output. What we then do is to divide this aggregate demand in terms of its components, consumption expenditure or by households, investment expenditure by firms, plus government spending, plus exports, minus imports. What we then need to do is to find out which variables influences consumption expenditure by households. Which variables influences investment expenditure, government spending, exports and imports? Once we know that, we have a very nice theory to explain what determines the level of output and income in the economy. What one should also remember is that output is also related to employment. If you increase the level of production in the economy, you create more job opportunities. So there's an increase in employment, which also then leads to a decrease in unemployment. So we not only have a theory to explain the level of output and income, we also have a theory to explain unemployment.